They are a club which took a stand against the commercialisation of football, which now says fan ownership can breathe new life into the game. Fan ownership is the only way forward now. Um, you know, for me personally, um, you know, Premiership, it's, I just don't understand it anymore. We never left United, in my mind, they left us. The game left us, we didn't leave the game. And, like, we never, we never drew our support, we love United, we just withdrew our money. Wherever they come from, fans turn up to witness the special community-led atmosphere generated by these rebelling fans turned club owners. After reaching 10 years, there is a real sense of pride of what they have done. We've grown out of, of uh, really, of, of, of a despairing uh, moment in our, in our Manchester United supporting history. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. It's amazing. Everybody said we wouldn't last till Christmas, and the five years was, was quite big. But 10 years is fantastic. It's established. It's real. Very special. It's a surprise that we're still going, to be honest. That we all doubted us. It's a great achievement for us. The evening ended in celebration with a 2-1 win for FC United. They hope to move into their new ground in Broadhurst by the end of the year, and there are exciting times ahead in the coming months. In the summer, they'll be facing the Giants Benfica, and with a new stadium on the way, the only way is up. The club's come a long way in the last 10 years. They started off as a club in protest. Now, they're a team with an identity of their own. Ronnie Bissett, Northwest News.